Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a long form AI content generator called Content at Scale. Now in this Content at Scale review, I'm gonna show you exactly what Content at Scale is, what makes it different from all other AI copywriting tools out there, plus I'm gonna show you some examples of how it works, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. Now, just to let you know, they are on beta launch. So if you wanna get access to content at scale, make sure you use the link in the description. You'll also be helping support the channel. Okay, so first of all, what is content at scale? It is an AI copywriting tool, but it focuses primarily on articles. And the best thing about this is they've made the whole article creation process as simple as possible. In fact, all you need to do right now is add in a keyword, which is a set of words that you're trying to rank for, and it's gonna go ahead and create an entire article for you, which is SEO optimized using relative search terms, as well as different types of headings, paragraphs, and everything in between. It's a bit of a mind-blowing tool. And the best part is it only takes a few minutes to work. So what I'm gonna do is instead of trying to tell you, I'm actually gonna log into the platform and show you how it works. Okay, so first of all, let's start here at the Content at Scale website. I just wanna run through a few things and then I'll go ahead and log into the platform and show you some examples and show you how it works. So the first thing to note, it is in beta access right now. So if you are lucky enough to get into it, I'm sure you're probably going to get the best deal possible and it's free to sign up as well, so don't worry about that. Now, one thing to see as well, it says here from keyword to full post, title to conclusion with no human intervention. This is probably a very bold statement, which I do like because even though there are so many different AI copywriting tools out there, you still have to do a level of input and it's still going to take you about 15 minutes minimum to go ahead, put a nice content brief together and then get back a result. However, with content at scale, you literally type in a keyword and then it's going to create an article for you within a few minutes. It's absolutely nuts and it's focused on SEO. So it's all talking about, you know, related keywords. It's all doing the right amount of paragraphing. It's also doing the right amount of structure so it's a very, very powerful tool. Now, if we come down just a little bit further, you can see it talks about here, long form content, right? So you're looking anywhere between sort of 700 and 1500 words per article. It's optimized for SEO. So it's gonna go ahead, find related terms, like things like that. You can also add in plagiarism scans. So you can see how your articles actually come out. So I'll show you all about that in a second. And then finally, you can white label this tool as well to use in your own subdomain. Now, apart from that, here are some different types of sort of frequently asked questions if you wanna know what it's all about, but I'll let you go through that yourself. You can also check out the other pages on their website, but instead, I'm gonna go ahead, log into my dashboard and show you this tool. So here is my dashboard, and as you can see, there's not really too much to this tool on the back end, especially when you start, it's going to look very blank. What you can do is go ahead, add in a project, and let me walk you through that process now so you know how it works. So for example, you wanna add in your project name, so let's just say I'm putting in here legit marketing reviews, right, enter your URL, so I'll quickly type in my URL for my website, and then a bit of project context, four to eight words describing what the website's about, so mine's gonna be software review, for entrepreneurs and small businesses. Software reviews, um, helping entrepreneurs and small businesses find the right software. Okay, monthly post, let's just say I wanna do, I don't know, five a month. Start date here, renewal date, wherever, and click next. Next is going to ask, what keyword do you wanna rank for? So basically this is saying, what keywords do you want to create articles for, right? So let's just say I was gonna create an article called best email marketing uh, software. You can go ahead and start adding in all these keywords or you can upload a file which has got all your keywords too. Or finally, there's another one which is create content now instead of just adding to the keyword list. So if you just wanted to add in keywords to start ranking for, you could go ahead, type them in and you can go and click add content. But for now, I'll just leave it as is. So I'll click add content. Right, and now here is our entire project. And as you can see, we've got one keyword listed. So you can put in as many keywords as you wanna rank for. This is great if you're doing a lot of competitor analysis or keyword research. You can put them all inside here and then you can go ahead and either make all the articles instantaneously or you can create them one by one. 
So now that we have got this keyword ready to roll, all you need to do is select on the check button here and go ahead, click prepare, and it's going to start creating the article. And if you wanted to add more keywords later for more articles, you can just click on add content. Same exact process once again, and it's going to add it to the dashboard. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my Intact Media project because I wanna show you what a completed article looks like. So once you've had your keywords, once you've created the article, it's gonna go now to the posts tab. And this is one sort of article that I just created yesterday. So it's called SEO services. Now the keyword I used for this is just SEO services because uh, it's something I'm gonna list on my website. So if I click on that, right? So literally I only added in two words. It's gone ahead and created this entire article. So let's just say the primary keyword here, SEO services, like I mentioned, it's created the SEO slug. It's also created a title, right? SEO services, how they can help grow your, or your business grow. We also have here a meta description. So if you're looking to improve your business's online visibility, hiring an SEO service provider. So once again, it's used a similar keyword and provider is a great way to do it. Here's what you need to know about these services and how they can benefit your company. So it's used services, SEO service, and also a variation in the meta description. So it's really good. Now we have here 885 keywords, so that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. 26 paragraphs, 16 headings, and zero media. So it hasn't got any images yet. You can also click select featured image, and it's gonna open up some royalty-free images that you can use inside of your article. So it's, it's pretty cool. They've thought of every avenue that you could use for the service. Now coming down further, this is the actual article itself. And as you can see, we have here an intro mentions right at the beginning SEO services within the first 50 words, which is perfect for SEO. If we come down, we've got table of contents. So this is actually linking to the different paragraphs based by the headings. Now, this is a really, really good strategy if you've been looking deep into creating articles because it sort of adds in another tag for Google to find it. So it can actually list it in the suggested posts. So that's a really cool thing. It's automatically added. And you can see, once again, it talks about SEO services. This one, it's added in bold. We've also got headings. So it's really, really embedding it in as much as possible inside of the article. And overall, it's extremely on point. It's got lists, it's got paragraphs, it's got headings, subheadings. It's pretty much got everything that you would need inside of it. It's also got a contact us page. And if you look at the link, if I click on the link button here, you can see it's linking to my website, right? Which is pretty amazing. They've really gone over and above to actually adding this in. Now, if we look at some of the other types of optimizations inside of here, here's all the relative keywords to this main keyword, right? So it's saying all the main ranking articles for this particular keyword have all of these other keywords as well added. And you can see how many times it's been mentioned versus the top articles. So you can go ahead and change bits and pieces if you want. It's also got a checklist here. So it's saying meta includes primary keywords. So obviously it's missing the S here. So it's if you went and just say, obviously it's not gonna make quite sense, but just to show you what it looks like, it's actually over a little bit too, which is interesting, but you can optimize that. It's really easy, but now we've checked that off. So there's a little bit of a keyword checklist to go inside of here. If you look at the content brief, this is also where it's taken a lot of the information from, right? So here's a list of different paragraphs, things like that, that you can go ahead and play with. And we've also got here review, and this is going to be the plagiarism checker. So you can see all these highlighted text here. This is saying this particular text is actually plagiarized from somewhere else. I've done a lot of research into this. You can have roughly about 20% of plagiarism. And the thing that you've got to remember too, it's like these four words here, I mean, everyone's gonna be talking about that, right? So this isn't something that's gonna be plagiarized. However, there is one entire sentence which is highlighted, which means that this entire sentence has been taken from somewhere else. So what I recommend you do is just go ahead and rewrite this last little part to change that plagiarism. But apart from that, I mean, there's basically no major strikes that I can see in here, just that one sentence. So if you change that, this article would be extremely unique and ready to rock and roll. So overall, looking at this, if I was to use this, it'd probably take me, you know, I don't know, five minutes to just read through it, change through this uh, these sentences here, and I would literally go and post it, and I'm going to post it. That's the, the pretty cool thing. Once again, all I had to input was one keyword. So let me show you how it works from start to finish. So let's go back to the projects. Let's go into this one here. I'm gonna go ahead and create new content. So add content. 
type in the keyword that you want to use. So for this one, I'm just going to put in here web design, right? So you can see it's an extremely broad keyword. However, New Zealand's a very small country and there's not that much competitiveness inside of here. So I'm probably going to still rank pretty easily. So I'm going to leave it as this. This time I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'll just, I'll just add it to content right now so I can show you the process. So here's the keyword. It's been added here. Click on the keyword. Click prepare, right? And it says one keyword has been added. Check back in a few minutes. That's as simple as it is. If you go to posts now, all you need to do is sit back, go make a cup of tea or whatever it might be and check back in a few minutes and it should be ready to roll. So I'll go ahead, pause the video and see how long it takes. Okay, so we are back and it took three minutes and 42 seconds to complete. As you can see, the title here says the top five web design trends for 2020. So we're going to need to edit that just a little bit. I'll just reload it one more time as it might be adding in a few things. Nope, that's cool. So let's go ahead and click on it and see what we've got. So as you can see, we've got a table of contents, which is cool. If you come down, we have a 1289 word article, 40 paragraphs, 23 headings, and no images, which is fine. Let's look at the title, the top five web design trends for 2020. So all you'd need to do to update that is just press in a 2022. So that's cool. URL slug, primary keyword is good. Meta description, once again, I'll just change this 2022. So it's obviously taking a bit of inspiration from other articles, right? As we move into 2022, there are a few web design trends that businesses should be aware of to stay ahead of the curve. For more minimalist designs to voice user interfaces, here are the top five web design trends for 2022. So this is pretty cool. This will be an amazing article. So let's come and have a look what we've got. So different website designs approaches for different types of businesses. So we've got here web designs, we've got web design, right? Web design like everywhere, which is good. And if you come down, it's talking about, you know, just the major things that you should really know about web design, right? Mobile traffic is growing, which is true. Google favors responsive websites, which is extremely true. Responsive design is good for your users. Once again, all of this is extremely relevant and true, okay? So if we come down a little bit further, make eye-catching, high-quality images, yes, 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 yes. So this is good. You just come through, make sure everything looks good. Um, obviously, make sure all the things in Grammarly say it's nice, but overall, it's, it's really good. So let's come to the top. We've got all of our different optimization tags. I'm not going to bother with that, but the title is optimal length. So the title is slightly short, I believe. So you'd need to add in a few different words. Uh, meta is optimal length, so that's a little bit long, so that's easy to fix. So links out, that's fine. Image is fine. Paragraphs are three sentences or less, so that's interesting. Periods at end of long list items. Okay, so that's cool. These are just little optimization things you can do. So brief, once again, it's all of the different briefs, all the different FAQs, but the main part here is review. Request plagiarism scan. So go ahead, click on that. It just takes a few moments. I think it uses a tool called Copy Scrape to actually see how it looks. And this is really interesting. I had to pause the video and refresh it because I thought it may be glitched, but it's 0% uh, plagiarized. So all of this content <laughs> inside of this article is absolutely new. So that's really, really nice to see. So obviously you'd come through things like 2022, you'd change to, uh, sorry, 2020, you're saying 2022, add in a bit of grammar here and there. But overall, here's a article that's ready to roll. So this is pretty cool. So once you're finished, if you're happy with it, you go ahead, change it to completed, and then that's going to be completed in your dashboard, just so you can keep up to date with all your statistics and everything like that. Now let me talk about a few things about content at scale, because I know it's going to be asked. So first of all, if we come down to the bottom, people are worried about Google. So will Google know if it's AI content? And it says here, Google cares about content quality because we've spent so much effort making the content flow natural with personal stories and smooth transitions. It is impossible to determine not only that, but you're able to edit and modify the content as you see fit. So this is something that's just been changed. You've probably heard Google is taking down all of these high article, low quality sort of websites. This isn't going to be affected by content at scale as it doesn't use GTP3 or anything like that. It's got its own engine to provide and create these articles. So that's something to think about. And it's also talking about copy scrape as well. Uh, it says here in most cases it is zero. So you can see my first article was a little bit higher. That's fine. But majority of them stay around one to two. 
two or zero even, which is pretty cool. Now, in terms of pricing, I've left this until last because it is in beta right now. The price may change, but I'll let you know what it currently is. So you can expect to pay around one to 1.8 cents per word. So to give you a quick example, um, if you had a thousand word article and it was 0 0.18 cents, so times a thousand, it's going to be roughly $18. And they've actually just released their pricing plans. So it isn't going to be per word you're paying. This is actually the beta page I've just had access to. And if you scroll down here, there's actually three plans. Now it's not the cheapest in the world. And the reason being is it's not a basic AI copywriting tool. However, if you look at the value of these plans, it's actually really beneficial. So 20 posts per month is going to be on the higher end. If you pay $500, you're going to get access to 20 articles, right? So if you think about that, think about how much time it's actually going to save you if you could just go ahead, pay $500, put in 20 keywords, and then in less than 10 minutes, you would have 20 articles ready to go. You could schedule them out over the month, and then you've got your articles which are highly SEO optimized and ready to roll. Now, if you have more posts that you need, maybe more websites, you can get 50 for a thousand. And then finally, we have the agency, which is a hundred posts per month for $1,500. So that's all something to think about. And if we scroll down a little bit further, there's some additional services you can get as well. So first of all, is there's a guarantee. I know a lot of people are probably freaked out by the numbers right now. Just keep in mind, it's quality as well as efficiency. So if you're looking for something cheap and DIY, there's all the other copywriting tools out there. But you can get five posts for free on any of the plans. If you're not happy, they will give you a refund. And if you don't use all of your credits, they will be rolled over for the next month for up to six months. So that's pretty cool like that. And there's also another service they have if you want them to take control and do the entire process for you. So they'll put your keywords in, they'll go ahead, edit the article, they'll also optimize it, schedule it inside of your website for daily publishing. You can get 20 optimized posts per month for $2,000. Now this is going to be cheaper than getting a copywriter. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, there's all this information inside of here. So that's pretty much it. You can come in once again. I've left a link to everything down below. Um, but that is content at scale. What I'm going to do right now is jump behind the screen and talk about a few extra things. Okay, so that is content at scale. Now I have to admit it is the easiest AI copywriting tool that I've used for long form articles. And that's a big shout considering I've tried dozens and dozens of different AI tools. This is the easiest one. Literally type in a keyword and then it's going to optimize the entire article that you've created around that keyword. It's also gonna link to your website, which is pretty bizarre to see. And all you have to do is review it and make sure it looks good. I know there are so many great AI copywriting tools out there. However, it still does take a lot of time and effort creating these articles between sort of five and 20 minutes just to set one up. You could go ahead and add in 20 keywords in this tool, press play and then come back in half an hour and all of your articles are ready to be added to your website and there's nothing else like that on the internet right now. So that's really impressive to see. Now once again, this tool is in beta, it's only going to get better from here. So if you want to check it out, I'd probably get in sooner rather than later, I'm sure the price will eventually go up. Once again, I have left a link in the description if you want to check it out yourself, even just get one article created and see how it goes. But apart from that, that was my content at scale review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button so I know you got some value. But apart from that, that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And that's it from me. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.